Hello guys again. Another example of virtual work in a frame. This is the one that we are going to work right now. So this is what we have. We have this real structure here and we have to calculate the vertical deflection at the point B. Vertical deflection at point B. This is what the problem is asking. Vertical deflection at B. Procedure. Real structure, virtual structure. At the end, we are considering only the moment because I I showed to you in the previous video that the, the influence of the other axial and shear is not that much. Uh, torsion also, if you have 3D. Uh, but then for this particular type of things, the, the influence of the moment is the biggest one. So what we have is that the external work, virtual work, real displacement, has to be equal to the summation of all the internal effects and we are only considering here the uh, the moment effect. The problem also states that EI is constant even though we don't have the value for EI we just keep the result in terms of EI at the end that's what we have to do. What is the procedure? First establish the real structure and do a statics in the real structure. So what are we going to do here? Calculate the reactions, calculate the internal forces in the real structure. What are the values for the forces here and the reactions? Well, this is a fixed support. Fixed support is going to have three reactions, MA, AY, and AX. I'm not even going to put AX because as you can see here, summation of forces in X is zero. So AX is going to be zero. AY is going to be just the resultant coming from here, which is 20 times 115, 30. There's nothing else in, in, in that direction, 30. And the moment at A is just going to be that resultant multiplied by this distance, which is 10 plus 15, 25. 10, yeah, 10 plus 15, 25, 25 times 30. That's our value for MA. So MA is going to be equal to 750 kip per foot. That's, those are the values for the reactions. Remember, these values come from summation of forces in X, summation of forces in Y, and summation of moment. Once we have that, once again, we have to establish equations that define the entirety of the structure. So for that, we need to do two cuts. I can do one cut, one, one here in this direction. And I can do another cut, cut, another cut, two, two here in this direction. I could have also do two, two in this direction. It's possible. It's doable. But whatever I do in the real structure, I have to keep in the virtual structure, which is the second step. First step, establishing the real structure. Second step, virtual structure. Same geometry, same geometry, same support conditions. The only difference is this, vertical deflection at B. Whatever is the point that you want to get the vertical deflection, at that point, you're going to put a virtual unit load or a virtual unit uh, rotation if you are trying to get, instead of deflection, rotation. But in this problem, is asking only for deflection. So let's put a virtual unit load with it. And remember, if I did these cuts here, the same cuts have to be established here in this direction, x, y. And in this direction, if I make the cut 2, 2 here, remember I'm, I'm doing this, OK, in this direction. So the x that I'm mis uh, measuring is from here, and the x that I'm measuring is from there, from both sections, a, a, and 2, 2. If I have this type of situation, I know the reactions here. I know the vertical reaction is going to be 1. And I know the moment, which is acting in this way, moment is going to be equal to the moment generated by this one. And this is 20, and this is 15. 20 and 15. So that moment is going to be 35 times 1, 35. So that moment in this direction, um, A equal 35. 35. That's it. Nothing else. 
that's it so now we proceed to do our cuts remember this is the real structure and this is the virtual structure let's proceed with the section one one section one one which I'm measuring in this direction so that goes from 0 to 20 for both real and virtual for the real this is the real that's 1.5 k per foot this distance x and at this end I know I'm going to have the shear and I'm going to have the moment but I'm not interested in the moment here so if I do the moment, the force here is going to be, that force is going to be 1.5x and the distance is going to be x divided by 2. So then when I do that, summation of moments at b prime equals 0. So mb prime is going to be equal to negative because I'm going to add this plus this. You do the, you do the whole equation if you want to and then you can practice so 1.5x multiplied by x divided by 2 is 1.5x squared divided by 2 this is the real one the virtual one in this end for the virtual one same situation this force is 1 this is the cut this is the x and these are going to be my m b prime And of course, I'm going to have also the V, but I don't care about this one. I do moment at this point, MB prime plus 1 times X equals 0. MB prime, small m, equals negative X. And that goes from 0 to 20 as well. And then we go to the second part. What is the second part? This is the second part. So for the real structure, I have this. And this is the moment 750 and I have this force of 30 and I have this distance of X and in this end because once again I'm going in this direction and looking at the other end of the beam this is gonna be the positive direction for the moment MA prime and I should have here the, the shear in this direction, which I'm not using. I'm just putting it there for you to get familiar with the what end you're using for the beam. So when I do that, I can do summation of moments at A prime. This distance is X. So the distance that I'm really interested is this one, that distance. Now, if you look at the, the triangle form here, this is going to be 3, this is going to be 4, and this is going to be 5. So this is going to be 3, this is going to be 4, and this is going to be 5. So if I do summation of moments, summation of moments at A prime equals 0. By the way, this is capital M moment, not the small m moment. Equals 0, and I'm assuming this. Then you're going to have negative MA prime, this one, minus 750 plus this 30 multiplied by this distance but if this is x and this is 3 4 5 this distance is going to be 3 fifth of x you can you can also and this is zero you can also uh, convert this and find this component of 30 is the same thing so now MA prime, my equation is going to be uh, 18, 18x minus 750. That's going to be my equation. And for the virtual, same, same, same old, same old. I have this leg, I have this, which is 35. I have this, which is 1. I have this with this x. And here I'm going to have 
the small m a prime and I'm gonna have also the shear which I'm not gonna use I do moment at m a prime and I have negative m a prime minus 35 plus 1 multiplied by this distance and that distance once again this distance because of this triangle is going to be 3 fifths of x. Remember vertical force, horizontal distance. And I don't have to decompose the force in that way. Equals 0. And a small ma prime is going to be 3 fifths of x minus 35. Boom. Done. Now the rest, once I have the equation, is just put all these things together. How do we put that thing together? Well, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You come here, and I apply my master equation, meaning this one here, and I say one times delta B, one times delta B equals, EI is constant, EI is constant, outside. Multiplication of what? Summation of the integrals, summation of the integrals. First integral for section one one, from 0 to 20, 0 to 20. What do we have? This times that, negative 1.5x squared divided by 2 times negative x, dx. Plus, section 2, 2. Oh, nobody moves. I didn't put here section 2, 2. Well, nothing that I cannot fix, right? Section 2, 2 from, oh, from where to where? From here to there. So we need to put the total length over there. If this is 15 and this is 20, this is going to be 25. So it's going to be the square root of 15 squared plus 20 squared, which is supposed to be 25. So from 0 to 25. You see, when you do this beforehand, you don't have to stop. To, to think again. So from 0 to 25 of this times that. And now you solve these. You can solve it and go and be my guest and multiply them and do whatever. Ah, they don't charge me for minutes, so I'm gonna do it. One over e i uh, multiplies 1.5 x to the third divided by. This is x to the third. It's gonna be x to the fourth divided by eight. Then so times 1.5 x to the fourth divided by eight. Evaluated between zero and twenty. I know the calculators, if you put these, they are going to give you the, the value of the definite integral. But I want you guys to do it because when you take the Fe, you won't have that. Plus, then you have to multiply this times that, which is 54 divided by 5. X times X is X to the third divided by 3. So it's going to be 54 divided by 5. X to the third divided by 3. And then this times that is going to be 630, 630 minus 630 x squared divided by 2. And then this times this is going to be minus this divided by this is going to be uh, 150 times 3 is 450 x. So 450 x squared divided by 2. And this times this is positive. And this is going to be positive, this times this, let me see, 26,250 times x, evaluated between 0 and 25. Okay, 0 and 25. Now, I'm not going to do that, of course, but I'm just going to put it in the calculator. I'm going to put it in the calculator. So you get 30,000 plus 375,000, which makes delta B 
equal to 405,000 divided by EI. Keep the units coherent. So whatever we did on the top in that way, my units are going to be keep per cubic feet. Keep that thing like that because when you put E, it's going to be in kilopounds per square inch and I probably is going to be in inches to the fourth, meaning if I want the final result here, I need to get this value in the top and multiply by 12 squared to get it into inches, the, the displacement. In what direction goes this? Because this is positive and I put my virtual load down, that means that the displacement is down in that direction. Now, if this is an exam that you are taking, and it's a computerized exam, then of course at the end, the, the, the statement, the value that you have to enter, it will say, assume positive up and negative down or something like that. Keep watching, guys. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. See you later.